I'm going to do a video today uh, that's a little different than most of my videos. Um, this one is actually not really concerning fixing something or doing a home repair. It's just about a uh, well system that I have uh, installed in this house, which is a system that I did a lot of research trying to figure out uh, how to design this and in the end it turned out that there was actually the equipment already existed to do what I wanted to do which was to have a system that would uh, create a reserve source of water for a house that had a it was on a well with a low recovery well which this house is on. Uh, the well here is 260 feet deep it's a drilled well and uh, it only has a recovery of about a gallon and a half a minute. So what would happen prior to this system being installed, there would be times when if a person did a couple loads of laundry and maybe somebody took a bath, uh, you'd be out of water because the, at a gallon and a half a minute recovery, it uh, was taking too long to, to uh, come back and uh, the system that's installed here has a 200 gallon tank and I'll explain it as I go. Normally in my videos I don't mention names of manufacturers of equipment, uh, it's pretty much generic, but I'm going to make an exception in this case. Now you may find a product that uh, does the same thing as this unit, but uh, the whole key to this system is this Franklin Electric Pump Tech unit. And the significance of this unit is that it has sensors on it which will uh, sense when the submersible pump in the well is running low on water. And it'll key off the system. Now as we can see right now this light is flashing and uh, I'm going to go over the different statuses of this unit. Uh, what that means right now is that the pump down in the well is running and pumping water into a storage tank which I will show in the video. I uh, really didn't want to get into drawing diagrams because to me it's kind of reminiscent of uh, learning something in school and I didn't want to make this overly complicated but there's a fair amount of variables to this system so I, I couldn't really think of any other way to properly describe it so Here's my pretty little picture I drew. Um, down here, this is down the ground, the water in the well. Here's a submersible pump and the 260 foot pipe that that pump is down at the bottom of. So I've drawn here is the pipe coming up into the top of a 200 gallon storage tank right here and this is representing the AC power so the power here gets fed to this submersible pump it runs and fills this tank now the key thing here is as I mentioned with a low recovery well um, that pump down here you don't want this running uh, too much and burning out the pump that's where the pump tech unit comes in and this is, as I said before, this is really the key to this whole system. What this pump tech unit does is it senses the load on this submersible pump down here. Um, it can tell from the amount of current that this uh, pump is drawing when the water level in the well down here is getting low. And it'll kick out and st stop running the pump so this doesn't burn out. So then uh, what happens is the unit itself, the pump deck, has a timer that can be set on it. And uh, the one that I have is anywhere from uh, two minutes to two hours. I have mine set to two hours. So once it senses that the water level in the well is low, it'll uh, stop pumping. And then two hours later, it'll kick in. <clears throat> now here I've tried to draw what uh, the uh, uh, indicators in the 200 gallon tank, how yeah, they work. This is two floats. 
I looked at the picture after I drew it and I thought, well, that's kind of misleading. But what I've done is it's not actually four floats, it's two. This is the way one will be when the, t when the level in the tank is maximum. The float is up, and at this point, the pump tech knows that the tank is full and it won't go draw any water out of the well. When this float drops down, the pump tech gets a signal from the, uh, the float switch here. This float is now hanging down in the water and uh, the pump tech knows that the next time it, its uh, two hour period ends, it will then key in, send AC power down to the submersible pump and pump until it gets a signal that pump water until it gets a signal that the submersible pump is is getting low on water down in the well. Now this other switch in the storage tank here, this is only has this this upper one has two readings, high, low. It kicks in and pumps here. It doesn't pump any water once it's here. This one here is only signaling on one. When the uh, float drops down here to this point it won't the system has to be reset it knows the tank is empty and it won't pump anymore because of the sediments in the tank uh, so basically and here's the other key part with a system like this is you actually end up with two pumps you're going to end up with a uh, a pump here this is a pump and a pressure tank in my in uh, my house this just keeps pressure on the water system so uh, that's basically the way this thing works out hopefully that'll give you the idea so here's what this pump tech unit looks like with the cover off I uh, kill the uh, AC power to it just so I don't get uh, shock in here but basically this lead here comes over to the AC power and the unit itself will switch power out to this line here which goes to the pump down in the well, the submersible pump. This is the operating status of the pump tech monitor when the tank is full. So right now we see that the only light on the pump tech that's on is the power light and it's on solid. That indicates that the 200 gallon storage tank that I talked about before is full. The floats in that tank are keeping this pump tech from operating. So now if I was to go away for a week or so, whatever, this uh, pump tech would keep the pump that's down the well from operating because the float in the tank is indicating the tank is full. Okay, and now the pump tech unit has kicked out, indicating that it uh, recovered as much water from the well as it could, and you notice that the yellow load light is on, and that tells me that uh, there wasn't enough water to actually fill that tank back up. It's, it's close to full, but before it could fill it, uh, it got an indication from the, the load that the uh, pump in the well was, was uh, drawing that it uh, should stop uh, running that pump. So that's the indicator you'll get when that happens. And now that the submersible pump is powered again, you can see that the pump tech uh, control unit, that green flashing light, indicates that it's actually operating now. So the pump in the well uh, is uh, operating. We can tell by the green flashing light. That'll run until the uh, the indicator tells us that there's not enough water in the well and the submersible pump will stop working and the reason that the, obviously this is kicked in is because the uh, the in our storage tank over there that float that I discussed has now gone down and is telling the system to go recover water uh, if there's any available So I want to show the status of the pump tech unit when it's when the level in the tank has fallen down so that the float indicates to the pump tech that the level in the tank is down. So there's the top level. That's when I was discussing that the pump tech just uh, 
will not come on at all, knowing that the level in the tank is full. Hopefully you can see this. This is the level that the pump tech will kick in. The float will fall down within the tank and indicate to the pump tech unit that uh, the level in the tank has fallen below here. And I'm trying to shine a light on it in such a way as you can see through that clear tank that the water level is almost there. So I'm going to go over to the pump tech unit itself. Sorry for the video there. Okay. So that's the status of the pump tech unit when it is pumping from the well. I was doing laundry and uh, it's gone, the washer has gone a couple of times to draw water out of the tank and you can see that that is the status when the pump tech knows the level in the well is lower and it is now pumping out of the well. Another component of the system here is the pump and pressure tank which uh, pumps water out of the 200 gallon storage tank into the house. Um, I'm taking the cover off here so you can see that's a pressure switch that's uh, pretty much common on any uh, pump in a house like this. Pressure gauge, I won't go over the details of that. I'm more or less going to focus on this uh, the whole the system as a whole.